Cancer, hello, beautiful souls. Thank you guys for joining me here and welcome to my table. How are you doing, my friends? It's good to see you. Another message, another month, another message, right? Welcome, welcome. So if you're new here, you guys, I go over channeled messages. We look at Oracle cards and then tarot. If you're returning, you already know how this goes. My family, thank you for joining me. So Cancer, looking at your energy through meditation, what I was given was idealized function. So right away, I'm moving into the arena of um, are we are we optimizing or idealizing something functionally or are we looking at something as if it is outside of maybe what we're experiencing in reality? Um, is there an illusion that's attached to that? Let's dive a little further. I feel like you guys are being optimized. I feel like this is a situation where you are reaching for the ideal function. Okay. Um, the next thing I was shown, and I'll actually just show this to you here because I, I feel like it's a part of a, uh, machine, like a part of a car. Um, these little loop-de-loops and the posts there, what I was shown was the four posts and then like a, a belt or something wrapped around that. And these posts kept moving up and down. So the two pairs would shift up and down like this. And what this was doing is adjusting, or was, <laughs> weird tense there, uh, adjusting the tension, <laughs> speaking of tense. Um, and I, like I said, I'm not, I'm not a car person, okay? But I know that there's something belt-wise inside of a car that manages the tension like that. What came through regarding that is experiencing change within a framework. So I do feel like we're we're working towards the ideal function on something as if like we're adjusting these posts, whatever this is here, to optimize the tension so that we get the best function out of whatever this machine is. The next thing that came through was a person. <laughs> so you're on your knees here. Knees are kind of split out, arms like this, and it was reminiscent of the shape of a star. Taking the shape of the star is what I was told with that. So the next thing that came through after that was oblivion and then master, to master oblivion. Okay, seems a little bit disconnected from the rest of this, but I also am not really sure entirely where this is going yet. So let's dive further, Cancer. Show you what's going on for you. I was told only to pull one Oracle card this time. The Starseed Oracle is what Spirit wanted to work with. And you guys got Star Family. You're a part of a team of souls call in support. So Star Family here. The, our Star Family, our individuals, this is something where we will recognize these people. They're either in our lives currently or they are coming into your life. Okay, if you don't know members of your Star Family yet, when this card comes through... This is letting you know that those members or member, a member is showing up very soon. These are individuals that uh, them to us, we to them, inherently help or intrinsically, excuse me, a little both, intrinsically, naturally help these individuals, whether it be uh, money, emotional support, whatever. The reason for this is because we know we are part of the same family. We come from the same place, we're the same vibration. Their success is our success, our success is their success, etc. So with the idealizing function, having those posts, and with this coming through now, I'm kind of feeling like these posts are um, stabilizing points in the family. Your stability or, um, what am I trying to say here? Foundation, there it is, foundation, I'm like building a house, building a house. Your foundation. So I feel like these, I'm seeing like the four corners of a foundation. Those crucial components are coming in. You either know these people already, like I said, or they're coming in very soon. Yay, Cancer, yay. Okay, so I am going to pull a Wild Unknown Animal Spirit card here for you, and then we'll get into the tarot. What other messages do we have here for Cancer, please? I almost said Taurus. Maybe you have some Taurus, a Taurus on your mind for cancer here. 
We both like your comfort of home, right? <laughs> what other messages are here for cancer? Are there any? Mm. Cobra. So, Cobra here. Biding your time. The Cobra knows when to strike. They're patient, waiting, waiting for that time to strike. This piggy tailing off or piggybacking off of the star family is telling like the wait, the wait will be worth it. The wait is almost over. And that's not something I like to say lightly because I know a lot of us, if you're alive today, <clears throat> you're probably used to feeling maybe even a little bit gaslit. <laughs> if you're anything like me, feeling a little bit gaslit by messages such as that, just, just wait, you know, the time's coming. The, the wait is almost over. The wait will have been worth it. Okay. I'm feeling drawn to look this up in the, in the book. 611 on the timer there. That's my number for being on the right track. Love that, you guys. More confirmation. Cobra. Cobra, Cobra, Cobra. Pausing, waiting, the inner teacher. Yes, when the um, student is ready, the teacher appears. Um, taking a class or study to bring this energy into balance. If you're feeling anxious, if you're feeling discombobulated this energy is a bit frazzled here focusing that energy to learning something new taking a class some sort of study right now would be really helpful in filling up this time the rest of this time that you're waiting for okay i do want to pull one of these and then we'll get into the tarot here anything else here for cancer before we move into the tarot and I did just, uh, <clears throat> just dropped a new video. <laughs> I just dropped another collective reading. I highly recommend you guys take a look at it. I will link it at the end of this video too, if you want to check it out. So awakening a realization shift or discovery. Ask your angels, seek the divine. The angels want to support you. I feel like this is accentuating that message of there's a member of your star family that's coming forward here. Okay. That reading, it's titled, um, I wasn't this fr this fried, brain fried before coming into this. Maybe you guys are feeling tired too. Blood sugar's a little bit low. Maybe grab a snack. Um, this is not the end you will love again. Okay. Okay. So let's move into the tarot here for you guys. See what else is going on for cancer at this time. This is the Phantasma. Tarot deck we'll be starting with. What do we have for cancer, please, Beretch? Um, private readings are open and available if you guys want to check that out. My link is in the description of the video for my website. Get this one here. Go back the way you came. Back the way you came. Queen of Cups here. So this is your hope. Hopes and dreams. Um, I'll get back to that in a second. <laughs> um, you're hoping to heal. You're hoping that your ability here intuitively, it you are putting out this radar is kind of what I'm feeling, this frequency. You're hoping that that frequency you've been putting out is actually making a difference. I think it was one of your readings here in the past, this call across the silence your, like your voice across the silence is heard. It's kind of the voice I'm getting, or a vibe I'm getting there. My goodness. I do feel for some of you, there is this feeling of wanting to protect everything, like not let anybody in. A full-on barrier. And I don't, I mean, do what you want to do. It's your life. But I feel like you're going to want to let somebody in here soon, okay? Okay. This is the Light Sears Tarot we'll be working with next. What do we have here, please, Spirit, for Cancer? Regarding their massage. <laughs> message. This is a general message, you guys, so please keep that in mind. You're intelligent. You're smart. 
Use your head, heart, and intuition to decipher which parts of these messages are for you or if they are. If not, leave it behind. Get it out of here. That is okay. This one here. Okay. Two of Pentacles here at the bottom. This is your fear aversion. Um, I feel it's kind of an interesting message coming through with that. Um, there's that actually, there's that flopping balance too with the meditation, idealizing function. I feel like there is an anxiety or fear around that being possible, getting to that place. But what came through instantly was sacrifice. Um, and what I mean by that is like something that needs to be sacrificed in order to move that balance, something needing to be taken away from here in order to bring this this way, et cetera, et cetera. I'm getting this feeling of not like you don't want to give more. And I'm not saying you, you have to. There is something about this protection, though. If you're closed off from the world, then how do we participate in the world? Well, we don't. <laughs> we don't, right, Cancer? Okay, let's get into your tarot message here. So general, to start, Four of Wands comes through. This is crossing a major threshold. Celebrating with your kindreds, your star family here. I feel that this threshold, this threshold has been off into oblivion. I Okay, coming together with your star family here, and this reminds me of oblivion, I guess, too, helps move you into this place where you feel like you can master oblivion or where you've been residing recently feels like oblivion. Mm. You've been sequestered to oblivion. Yeah, I feel that. Okay, I feel that. This, um, what I get from this though, like this connection with the star family, those of you that this is coming in for, for you, it is not, um, hmm, how do I want to say that? It's a fleeting moment. Like this, this is, um, I don't even want to say permanent. It's a substantial energy in your experience here. Not saying that they're going to come in and out or leave. What I mean is there's something coming through that when this connection happens, there's this feeling of like, oh, everything is solved. Um, the world is bright again. There's colors, right? Oh, happy feelings. And that's all going to happen. And that's great. And, and I want you to experience that. And Spirit wants you to experience that too. It's coming through as a little bit of a caution that this moment will also come to a place i'm seeing those shifting again it will also come into a place eventually of like neutrality because this is life this isn't um the solution to every problem that you have is kind of what i'm feeling it's gonna feel great but uh, Four of Wands being a major threshold where crossing, crossing can be a fleeting event. So what I'm getting is the, to hit the ground run, get ready to hit the ground running. This is um, this person coming in or this family coming in. This is to help revivify you, to help give you a boost to your resolve because there's more work to do. There we go. That's what I'm trying to say. Thank you, Spirit. Wrap it up, right? Wrap it up. <laughs> Uh, Knight of Cups here in reverse comes through. That's actually <laughs> kind of, I probably should just pull the card. That's the energy I'm feeling. This is um, that wonderful burst of love coming through with the Knight of Cups, having the cup filled over, over full even. Once that wave crashes through, there is still the realization that there is more work to be done. This, the Knight of Cups in this deck in particular is for me dating oneself, dating the self. This action still needs to take place. So spirits coming through and saying, don't, for, don't forget about this. Well, you won't, you'll be reminded that this work still needs to be done. This support coming through is gonna help a lot, but it, there is nobody here on this planet that takes away our charge to work through being a human, right? Right. <laughs> Trust me, I, I've tried to find every avenue possible, and it's not uh, it's not possible. we got to face our own shit. But facing, facing this down is a lot easier with the right people in our corner. Okay, 
So good stuff coming through for you guys. Ten of Wands. Ooh. And I am drawn back to just because I did this collective recently too. I'll post the playlist for collective so you guys can check those out. But um, there was something about releasing a stone <laughs> into deep water. This card came through. But this is releasing a burden, coming to the end of a journey that's been tiresome. And I feel that for you guys. Y'all are tired, right? Cancer Venus here myself. Um, I know, well, I'm always tired with the narcolepsy, but especially when it comes to connection, there's a level of exhaustion even. Why is it all so tiring? <laughs> well, because being human is tricky as shit. It's tricky to rock a rhyme. That's right on time, right? Tricky, 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 tricky. So you're coming to the end of a long, long, long journey. Almost over. I love that. That burden to be released. That burden of maybe being fully alone, even, if that's the situation you're in. And I think, well, it was this last one we did last month. The message that came through for you guys was um, essentially learning to be alone and be okay with that. Not to be in connection starvation mode, like if you were a hermit in the mountains and haven't seen people for the last 25 years. <laughs> um, that's not what I was talking about. And this makes sense why that message was coming through now, because there is there is this connection that's coming forward for you. And spirit wants you to be able to master your own oblivion. Ah, okay. Because that oblivion, ah, okay. <laughs> that oblivion doesn't disappear no matter who we have around us. We are always, and I think I said this in the last message too, we're always alone together. We are together, but we are all alone. And that, you know, that can be a hard truth to swallow, but it's helpful to acknowledge and accept those things that we can't change, right? Cool, I love this, all right. Ooh, yay. <laughs> The world, yeah. This burden coming to a close. This is a major chap or chapter coming to a close. I also feel like this person, it's like uh, wind in your sails again. This individual or individuals for some of you, like I said, some of you may already know them, some of you may not. I feel this influx of that connection. Like if you have the star family, you know already, maybe you guys haven't been in contact for a minute. I feel that maybe um, restarting, being reignited, but being able to take on the world, feeling that you can take on the world again, having a charge in your batteries again. You deserve it. You deserve it, Cancer. Anything else there on the good stuff? Realignment, shift your perspective for a gained sense of clarity. Um, just as I was talking about that, you know, we're always alone together. I feel like that's what this shift of perspective is talking about. Um, it can be a sad or depressing thought if you want it to be, but it also doesn't have to be. Um, you know, facts themselves can just be facts without an emotion being attached to them. And I feel like the encouragement here with last message and this message right now, Spirit is working to get you to a place where you are okay with neutrality. Happiness doesn't prevail, peace doesn't prevail, negativity, you know, the positive or the negative, neither prevail. It's constantly shifting like this. The goal, I mean, I see that the older I get too, the goal as a human being really is to um, be comfortable in that middle middle space. <laughs> Coming from a Gemini here too, like, oh God. <laughs> that middle ground has always been the least favorite for me, but it's also where where we're able to build home, I feel like, to be able to reach for happiness or to deal with grief. That's where our home base is safest. Okay. What you don't see coming here at this time or what's in the dark, Eight of Cups. So Eight of Cups is, uh, is a need to walk away from something. It's also feeling like something is missing, but something is not missing. So what you don't see here at this time, I feel like what I'm getting is this message of somebody is feeling maybe that everything leaves. Everything is leaving them behind. This can be abandonment as well. 
But what you don't see about situations in the past where you felt that way is that that situation was not meant to be in your life. That's where I'm getting this. Um, something is not missing. Whatever has been left behind, excised from your life, removed, was done, has fulfilled its purpose, or wasn't wasn't aiding your highest good in the first place or anymore. So to come to a place of realizing that there is nothing that's that's missing for you guys. You're exactly where you need to be. 611, like I said, we had at the beginning. You're right on track. You're exactly where you need to be. You're in the right spot to receive, okay? Queen of Pentacles comes in to clarify this. Yeah. The decisions that, what you don't see here, the decisions that you've made in the past are, have been, are currently creating the life that you want in connection with the eight of cups. Like I was saying, there are situations where you could be looking back and, and going, um, I mean, it's okay to miss people, but there's a difference between or situations, missing people or situations and, and pining for that. And that's kind of what I'm getting with this. You're being shown here that every choice, every step that you've taken up until this point has been to lead you to the life that you are wanting to design. And I feel part of that is from your soul as well before coming here. We do have free will and we make choices here too. But those decisions that your higher self, your soul for your soul's development made before coming here to experience. The human body or experience may be feeling like something's missing, like I said, but the higher self knows better. No, no, we're right on track. Look how comfortable she is in her badassery. <laughs> Genderless, doesn't have to be female, but um, yeah, you guys, I feel like you're right on track for the abundant life that you are seeking. Anything else on this, please, spirit? Wisdom, knowledge gained through experiences or from a wise counselor. This leads me back to your experiences. Uh, divine timing, everything is a higher purpose. Yeah, 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 yeah. I feel like there's a point, whether it's with the star family member coming through, the great, re I'm, the great release. I'm feeling like, and I don't know what's going on astrologically. I'm not a master astrologer. Don't, don't pretend to be, but... Um, it feels like there's something energetically opening up or coming forward very soon that is giving you a perspective that you didn't have on your own experiences up till now. To see just how important every step that you've taken has been. Every step that wasn't taken, every step that was removed, right? Okay. So your challenge or obstacle at this time Nine of Wands. <laughs> Hanging in there. Nine of Wands is resilience. It's the wounded warrior. You're tired, like I said. Play it back, spirit. <laughs> You're tired. What you've been fighting for, working towards building your life, you, your experiences, your lessons, it's all worth it. You're right on track with that. And you're tired. You're exhausted. This is a reminder that you're almost there. Keep going. Don't give up. And like I said, um, I understand the <laughs> possible feeling of being gaslit. That response comes up a lot. I'm reminded of um, Oh, the Places You'll Go by Dr. Seuss. In that book, <laughs> there in the center, I think it's like three or four pages basically talking if you haven't read it um it's usually given to like graduates and that sort of thing as an encouragement to, oh my god all the places you'll go here and there and thither and yon right in the center of the book though it just goes uh you'll be waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and i remember when i first saw that having it hit me the realization of like so this dude who wrote these books right i don't know him personally he's no longer alive a part of, um, well, quite a bit of time ago, you know, that he wrote this or that he was alive. It was a different time. But 
one thing that remains the same is this process of waiting. One of the biggest components of being human is waiting. <laughs> I feel what 98% of our life is waiting. And that's another hard truth to swallow for a lot of people. I know it certainly is one of the biggest horse pills I have to continually swallow. If you're anything like, like me, <laughs> I don't like to wait. I like to wait for shit. But that's a message that comes through frequently because it's a big part of life. And we're constantly needing to be reminded of that. So a new journey is coming here. That 10 of wands, this ability to release that pressure is coming. You're here at the finish line. Finish strong. Don't give up on yourself, okay? Take a break if you need to. Rest as you need to. But don't... Um... Well, I mean, do what you want, right? Feel what you want. There's no need to let the emotion take you over, okay? It's okay to scream and yell. It's okay to have controlled fits if that's what you need to do. Don't let it break you down. Please know that we're always waiting. And there's always something that comes next. <laughs> the hangman here in reverse. That's what I'm saying, right? That's what I'm saying. Um, part of your difficulty right now is this process of waiting, of giving up on yourself in that process of waiting. <laughs> Maybe I should just start pulling these cards all together. <laughs> I'm going to switch up the way that I uh, read here soon, but... For now, this is working. Okay, last piece of advice on that, please. Obstacle. Declutter, let go of old items, create a new sacred space for yourself. Ooh, love that. So if you are in a situation where you're feeling this impatience towards the next step, what's coming through as a recommendation is to clear out something. Maybe you have a sacred space already for meditation to clear something out from the past or to shift or change, revive um, your sacred space to get ready for what's coming in that's new. Spring cleaning, so to speak. Just like with the 10 of wands, yeah, you're being supported here. A new journey is coming, but you have to release some of the things that you've accumulated from this previous journey to even have room to pick up what's coming through next. Your shoe closet's full <laughs> and you got to get rid of some shoes before you can order a new pair, right? Or build another closet, whatever works for you. <laughs> I am going to pull an Oracle card here to close this out. And then I'm going to go into an extended. In the extended, we're going to go over uh, direct messages from your higher self, love and advice, career and advice, and then what is most likely being manifested for you based on your current thoughts and emotions. Okay, so... Closing messages here, please, for Cancer. This is the Blue Angel Oracle. I'm hearing Yesu, Joy of Man's Desiring, playing in my head. <laughs> Sacred Earth is standing out. Ooh, and memories. Okay, okay. <clears throat> the Josh Groban version, if you were wondering. So, memories and Sacred Earth. I am gonna read uh, memories here real quick in the book, Healing, here we go, yeah. I opened right to it. Welcome to a time of deep reflection and healing. Let go, relax, and be grateful for the many blessings in your life. Over the coming days, you may find yourself reflecting on the past. So this process of like remembering versus pining we were talking about, allow these memories to surface like precious jewels in an ocean of light as you revisit times of sorrow, laughter, pain, joy, family, friends, and loved ones. You hold precious moments in your heart, pearlescent drops of joy and sadness that flow like blessed summer rains. Life is a gift, every moment a miracle. The light and love we each hold in our hearts are part of an eternal story. As you spiritually connect with those you love and all who have been part of your journey, be reminded that all on earth may come and go, but love is forever present. Um... If you want to look at it that way, if you're struggling with the 
remembering, letting things come up versus uh, pining. I see that as like resistance, trying to cling to something, which is going to create suffering. There may be pain coming up involved in some of these memories that you miss from the past. But if we're resisting that pain, this is when it comes over into suffering. Um, with sacred earth coming through here, this is a reminder to touch base with nature, to really come in and connect to ground, to allow this process of healing to happen as well. Okay. Healing. That's where I feel like the star family member is coming through and will add support, adding joy, life to your life. But it's not a solution to every everything that you're going through in your internal realm. That still has to be dealt with. It'll just be a little bit less dark going through this, this uh, hallway, okay? All right, Cancer, I love you guys so much. Thank you for joining me here in the general. I'm going to hop into the extended, like I said. If you want to join me there, there are links in the description of the video. I do have them for sale individually. There's also uh, on the third tier of membership, you can have access to all of them every month. If you're looking for personal readings, I do have those open and available. Links to my website are in the description of the video also. Um, if this resonated with you in any way, please consider liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing. It really supports the channel and the growth of this channel and couldn't be done without you. So thank you. Thank you for your support. If you do feel called to tip or donate, my cash app and PayPal links are in the description. You can, um, support the channel in that way as well. And to those who do, thank you. Thank you. It goes a long way. You have no idea. All right, y'all take care of yourself. I'll see you very soon. Be well.